Today I'll be doing an unboxing of a product that you probably won't see on a shelf anywhere anytime soon. So this is the Antec Neo Echo 450C. It provides 450 watts of continuous power. Remember, all Antec power supplies are rated by continuous power, not peak power like some cheaper units. Um, it is an 80 plus certified power supply and it comes in a very environmentally friendly looking box. It's got flowers on it. They do not include a power cord because by Antec's line of reasoning, the power cord is just adding unnecessary cost and unnecessary waste to the product as most computer users probably have one lying around, which is true in a lot of cases also. If you don't have a power cord, it's like a $2 adder to buy one at NCIX anyway, so uh, it's not, not a bad idea. Okay, by reusing your existing cord, you can reduce waste and help protect the environment. Okay, what, what else do we got on here? So. Uh, dual and quad core ready, I should certainly hope so. EPS 12 volt as well as ATX 12 volt 2.3. Okay, active PFC, single 12 volt rail on this 450 watt power supply, five SATA connectors and industrial grade protection. So for things like uh, over current, over voltage, all of that kind of stuff. Here's our overall specs. So the output is 450 watts. We can actually output 408 watts of that on the 12 volt rail. So it is a 34 amp 12 volt rail. That's important to know if you're looking at a video card and you want to find out if this power supply will be adequate for powering it. And I think that's pretty much it for what I want to show you guys on the front here. So why don't we start opening up this box and see what's the deal with the Neo Echo. Now I would normally call it a Neo Eco because to me that's what, that's what that word means. But everyone from Antec keeps calling it Neo Echo to me. So I'm like, okay, well I guess I better pronounce it their way. All right, inside we find, first of all, a product description. Get economical power today. Well, that's probably why it's echo, because it's economical, not ecosystem or ecology. So that's why it's a Neo Echo. All right, so the Neo Echo series, uh, Antex High Efficiency Power Supply Solution, 80 plus certification, quiet double ball bearing, 120 millimeter fan. This is a really nice thing to see on, an, on a value power supply from Antec because they've typically gone with the 80 mil, um, 80 mil cooling fan on their more value oriented products. So that's really good. Uh, this product overview will provide general information, which this unboxing will also provide general information, so we're not going to worry too much about that right now. Antec.com slash survey. Apparently you can win prizes for telling us what you think. Neato. Okay. Uh, we've got more environmentally friendly packaging, so you can see it does not come with any foam inside. It uses only this uh, recyclable cardboard stuff. We've got four screws for installing it into your case and a paper sleeve to prevent it from being scratched or anything bad like that from happening. Okay, there's some of that uh, packing material to protect it during transit. More packing material, power supply itself. All right, so why don't we start with, let's start with cables today. So let's have a look at what the Neo Echo has in terms of cables. Oh, these are nice long cables actually for a value unit. Look at this. So here's our 24 pin connector. Okay. It uses a detachable four pin, although it's semi attached by default, although you can tear it off if you don't need it. So that's, that's my preferred way of doing this because it means that it is connected at all times and you don't have to worry about like, oh, do I have it aligned just right when I'm plugging it in? But you can break it off if you so desire. So that's kind of neat. And it's a nice long cord. So this should be just fine with, for a bottom mounted power supply, which is one of those concerns whenever you're not spending a fortune on a power supply and you want something that you're going to be sure is going to reach to the top of your case, that's something to be aware of. It has a four plus four pin connector for the CPU. We have a single PCIe connector. So that means that you're not going to be running any high powered graphics cards off this particular unit. So you're going to be limited to something like a GTX 550 Ti at the top end with a single PCIe power connector. Okay, next we have one harness full of, oh no, wait, hold on. How does this work? Okay, give me a sec. No, we have, oh, it uses the mix kind. Okay, so we have one harness that is purely Molex. So three Molex and one floppy, and that's a nice long cable as well. So you can see the height is approximately 
uh, 1.3 Linus arms. Okay, and then we have a mixed one, which has two SATA and one Molex, so that would be perfect to run up to maybe your optical drive bays, where maybe you got one SATA optical and you've got an older IDE one and you want to use uh, both of those connectors. And then finally, we have a pure SATA one, which is also quite long, although not quite as long as that pure Molex one, and that has three more SATA connectors on it. So a total of four Molex, one floppy, five SATA, one four plus four, one six pin PCIe, and a 24 pin ATX connector. Now let's have a look at the unit itself. This is a C model, which means it does not have a modular interface. All of the cables are permanently attached. We move around to the side, and it's got just a sort of a dark, Mid medium gray finish. It is painted, so that means that you don't have that ugly, horrible, unfinished look to it. It would look at home pretty much anywhere. You can see all of the uh, branding is going to look right side up, regardless of which way you install it in your case. See, like that. Uh, you've got your general specs here again. All of your safety and certifications and whatnot are all here as well. On the bottom, as mentioned before, it does use a 120 millimeter fan, and uh, if Antex previous products or anything to go by. It's probably a very high quality double ball bearing fan. Uh, next here on the back, we've got um, typical Antec looking ventilation. They don't use a honeycomb style like a lot of the other guys do. They use this more more square style. First time I saw this was on the Neo Power, I believe. So that's uh, pretty much it for that. So thank you for checking out my unboxing of the Antec Neo Echo 450C. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos.